Yo, what's really good people? You're through to Elsa at TVKO. Thank you as always for watching another video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like and tell your people, of course. Right, it's Frampton versus Denea. I'm a little bit late to the party. Wanting to watch the fight desperately on the night. But was split between uh, the card of the Odyssey and uh, the fight at the Echo Arena in Liverpool. And Sky Sports card for MA Khan, of course. I opted for Sky, hoping to catch up with the Frampton fight straight away. Wasn't able to, um, and due to there being a lot more restriction on a lot of these boxing websites now, wasn't able to get hold of the Frampton fight until just now, unfortunately. So I'm a little bit late to the party on this one, but um, yeah, I've seen the fight and a little bit disappointed, if I'm honest. A little bit disappointed uh, but a lot of that to be said is down to just how good Frampton was I wouldn't say I don't want to say it was a mismatch I don't want to be disrespectful to uh, the nail but at some time at certain points throughout the fight it did look like that I struggled to give the nail more than three rounds I think two of those rounds came from the last two rounds the 11th and the 12th mainly the 11th because he, he connected with some great shots in that 11th round and the 12th round he was the more aggressive and was putting on the pressure inevitably because he knew he was losing knew he needed a knockout and potentially the first round aside from that the other nine rounds were all Frampton I gave it nine rounds to three in favour of Frampton I thought he was exceptional he boxed really well looked really fresh uh, polar opposite performance to the one against uh, Garcia in his last fight um, yeah he looked rejuvenated and looked like he was switched on looked like a guy that was fighting in a make or break fight which of course he came out and said it was before the fight I didn't really think it was a make or break fight I think even if he lost the fight to Denea I still think he'd be relevant and there'd be big fights for him um, yeah but it was a good performance he mixed up he, he mixed up very very well boxed at distance well used his jab well and then fought up close risky at times especially in the 7th round where he got caught or appeared to be stunned with a beautiful shot uppercut from Denea which yeah sort of rocked into his boots but as it was he wasn't that badly hurt and he got through the round and it was a round that he won anyway um, I felt it was a fight looking at that fight again now thinking back had Frampton had Denea's power he'd have probably got Denea out there because Denea really was just a it was target practice for so many of those rounds Frampton couldn't miss was hitting him at will and it looked like an exhibition at the time like practice for Frampton it was the 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 the, the difference in, in, in freshness and, and accuracy from both men was that telling that at certain points it just looked like Frampton was practicing he looked that good um, yeah impressed by Frampton not sure if it's still the same Frampton that we saw against Kiko Martinez or Chris Avalos uh, but certainly a lot left in the tank and now we move on to who he'll be fighting next he's come out and said that he'll have, uh, have Valdez or, or Lee Selby which is the fight that I want to see um, and hopefully if Selby gets through Warrington we can see that fight should Selby lose to Warrington then we could both see Frampton versus Warrington so lots of juicy fights on the horizon for Frampton and uh, yeah I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with how good he was um, in my preview of this fight I said that it would go down to a, a unanimous decision so I expected him to win and win clearly but I didn't expect it to be as easy as that um, as for Denea, um, he could well be looking at retirement now. Um, I wouldn't say he looks washed up, but he definitely is <laughs> on the wane. He's definitely on decline. And just a little bit of a, something that I noticed in the fight was his, his missus was kind of in his corner screaming instructions. Now, unless she's got some kind of boxing history, like that's got to be jarring for you as the fighter. And it's like, I was, getting, I was kind of getting annoyed for him. You know what I mean? Like, love, do you want to just... Do you want to just go back and sit over there? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That must have been a little bit irritating. I was, but that was amusing to watch it as well as annoying. But anyway, guys, what did you think of the fight? Me personally, thought it was a little bit underwhelming, but that's mainly because Denea is on, is on a serious decline and Frampton was just a bit too good for him. Um, so the excitement of the fight wasn't there. It was in fits and starts. Uh, round seven was decent. Frampton got rocked. 11 was decent because he seemed to hurt Frampton with an uppercut again and round 12 of course he was putting on pressure but other than that I had it pretty much every round for Frampton uh, what did you guys think of the fight and who would you like to see next for Frampton leave it in the comments below but for now I'm else it's TVKO I'm gone peace